Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we are in orbit with a ship that looks a bit like our space station, but is in fact uh, a fuel tug boy boat thing for for the space station, uh, together with a crew deposit. Um, so before uh, we ended the episode we were talking about, we would like to get to the space station, and I think I know how, but I'm not sure that I know how. So uh, how exactly are we going to do that? Well, first thing... Let's set it as target so I can examine um, our descending nodes and so on to, to align our orbit properly. And we're off by one degree, about. So we're going to have to fix that for sure. Um, let's set Kerbin as our focus here. And uh, at our ascending node, add a maneuver wherein we burn anti-normal until things equalize. Fine. Uh, that's a very, very short burn. Uh, so we'll just um, warp to it. We can't warp very fast because we're in quite low orbit, but we can, you know, warp fast enough. Uh, turn on SAS, please, and uh, get to the maneuver node, which of course should just be the uh, anti-normal, I think. Uh, yeah, warped, warped like here though. And actually, again, this maneuver node just sort of gets in the way. I really just know that as we get, as we as we pass by here, we want to burn until the descending node uh, has gone down to zero. I don't need the maneuver node to help me with that. I just wanted to see like roughly how much delta v it was going to take. There we go. So now we're in the right orbital inclination. Um, and we want to do the interesting part, which is uh, a rendezvous with it. Um, oh, let's set our camera back to our ship. So how exactly do we do this? Um, well, the stuff that I said last time we tried to maneuver is all still true. There was just more of it, and I didn't, didn't know like how to make it all happen. Um, so what I want to do is anywhere at, on our orbit, really. It doesn't matter very much where, although I think periapsis is probably best. Yeah. Um, add a maneuver to burn prograde until our orbit intersects with uh, the other one. Not, it's as you can see. It's not. Um, it's not exactly the same orbit, but over here, it's about as high, right? Um, uh, so that's the idea. And once we have gotten an intersect, we will uh, sort of do laps around until we uh, actually have sort of an approach. Um, I think I'm probably not explaining that very well, but uh, let's let's just do the, this beginning part first. Warp to next maneuver. And uh, point yourself at the maneuver node, which of course is just prograde. Um, and I'm gonna do a quick save here in case I mess things up. I don't think I really will on this part, but who knows. Because there's there's probably a more efficient time to do this so that we get better uh, intersects, but... Estimated burn of zero seconds to adjust our orbit. Well, that's nice to know, I guess. We'll warp to even closer then. And uh, so what do we want to get our apoapsis to? Like 145, right? So I'll just throttle up for that. Uh, wait, no, oh, I see. Get out of here. That was what, okay. So we do have intersects, uh, but 
I'd like to get up to 150, please. Uh, where's my apoapsis? I can't see it with that dang other ship in the way. The yellow one, gray, is not very legible to me. 145, okay. So we'll just raise it to 150. Ooh, and you see these uh, intersect nodes are moving around. So we're basically like exactly on the other side of the planet from them when our orbits uh, intersect. Um, but with just a tiny, tiny amount of burn, we're sort of moving. Actually, this is not going the way I wanted. <laughs> All right, well, what have I done? What is our apoapsis right now? It's 160. All right, I just wanted it to be 150, and then I tried to get fancy. So I'm trying. I'm going to try to put it back now uh, to 150 and do the, the sort of simple thing I was trying to do before I got excited about adjusting these intersect nodes. Okay. So I'm now going to warp over to here. And I believe, uh, if we wanted to, we could just sort of orbit around like this for quite a long time until we happened to intersect with the ship at this point. It happened to get to this point at about the same time as the other ship, uh, which is, say, the space station. Um, and that may very well be the best thing to do. But uh, where are our intersects? So here's our intersect one and intersect these. Where's intersect two? I don't even see it. Maybe we don't have an intersect two because our orbits are so similar. Uh, so we're when we intersect with its orbit, it'll be exactly on the other side of the planet from us, which is like as far away as it could possibly be. But it's not a big deal. Um, we'll just warp to pass that intersect and see what happens to the next one. Right, so we still have our intersect is at the same place, but the target position at that intersect has moved this way. Uh, we are gradually catching up to uh, to the space station. If we do another lap, our intersect will still be here, but its position when we're there will be like around here. And also, we'll just do a few laps around the the planet. Um, and then we'll get an, inter an intersect that is close enough to work with, uh, is the idea. And uh, once we have one of those, we can do some more fine tuning to get the, the, the crafts actually close to each other and then eventually to dock. It would be nice maybe if we had our orbit a bit higher so we could time warp faster, but... Um, so as you can see, we're coming up on the second intersect, which is, oh, we can turn off SAS, don't worry about it, which is the one we had before, and so its position is there. And if we warp past that intersect, oh, that's apoapsis. This is the intersect. If we warp past the intersect to here, uh, you'll see, indeed, our intersect is still here-ish, um, but the pos target position has gotten closer still. So we'll just, um, I don't know, go around a few more times. Uh, get out of here, Navball. You're really just getting in the way. I'll just cancel that time warp and uh, I'll do a warp here. And this should go as fast as it's possible to do. 50% 50 50 X when it, when it has to and 100 X when it can. Um, so we're, we're basically, if you watch these, these things go around, as I mentioned earlier, we're sort of catching up to it. Our orbit is the same here, so we're going as fast as it is here. We have a lower orbit on this side, which means we are catching up to the ship. All right, so as you can see, it's, uh, thing is going here. So it looks like it's progressing by about, mm, not 45 degrees, but like, um, 30 degrees each, each orbit. So it should take about three more to get us roughly lined up together, I think. Uh, oh, well, let's actually, I meant to say like warp to here-ish or something. And uh, this really is like, as I understand it, 
how they do this in real life space. They're just like, you know, we're not in a hurry. Uh, you don't have to... They, they actually spend days uh, doing this part in space, uh, uh, in, like actually NASA, apparently, from what I read on, on Wikipedia. Um, we can do it in less than days because Kerbin is much smaller than the Earth and therefore the orbits are uh, a bit more reasonable. Um, but uh, this is how we're going to catch up to it. As you can see, we're getting closer every lap. And once we get to a point where we're going to roughly catch up to it, I don't know, we have to do some other fa fancy business. Yep, see, it just progressed closer to us by about 30 degrees. Um, very exciting stuff here. I, I wonder if maybe I should have cut, but I don't know. I, I figure I should make you guys watch this at least once, right? Um, so what are we going to do once these two get close to each other? Um, that's a good question. Basically, what we're going to do is... When we're at uh, our intersect, we will burn a bit more to either slow down or speed up, um, such that uh, our orbits are closer and closer together and the ship will approach us more closely until uh, we're actually intersecting at the same place at the same time, basically, roughly. The details of that are a little more complicated than I really understand, but I think that's the general idea. And uh, even even once we've gotten quite close to the ship, the maneuvers involved in actually docking ugh, are kind of a pain. I think I figured out a way to do it, as I mentioned, by um, using SAS on the target ship to actually set it to say, please point your docking port at me. All right, so here's a pretty good uh, intersect, right? Focus on Kerbin and what is this all about? There's the target position, there's our intersect. But actually, I'm fairly sure if we do one more lap, we'll get a much, much better intersect, right? So let's warp to like just past the intersect and see what it's gonna look like. That way we'll have plenty of room to maneuver. Mm, actually, should I warp that far? Maybe I want to do something over here? I want to do something at our intersect? Because hmm. all of the previous times I've done this, there have been two intersect nodes, or intersect one and intersect two, where you can sort of see where the, the ship is going to be relative to you. But I'm really only intersecting at one point in this orbit. Uh, so we only get one of them. Hmm. And so I'm not sure... Like, if I were to do some burns opposite our intersect, that would make us no longer intersect there. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, I want to get to the intersect... And then when I see where the target position at the next intersect is going to be, I'll do some burns here to adjust our orbit to be probably slightly wider than theirs rather than slightly narrower. Let let it catch up to us on the next lap. And then we'll re-match re orbit, or orbits um, on the next lap. So I think this is the lap where we're going to do something interesting, and then also the lap after that. But I'm honestly not 100% sure. Docking is complicated. So let's warp to our intersect. And as we pass it, which is just like a couple, there it goes. So yeah, it's now passing us, which means we need to make our orbit wider so that that doesn't happen. So let's point prograde. And... Um, Try to keep these nodes in view uh, while we do just very slight burns. In fact, I should maybe be doing an RCS burn. Uh, well, I'm pressing... Oh, not, not a reasonable button. As I press this... 
Our separation is going down, but not very much. The RCS just, there's too much ship to push against. Okay. So I'll, I'll throttle up. There we go. A separation of 25 kilometers. Now that's good, um, but I would like it to be much lower. Like, wait. Oh, a separation of 2.9 kilometers with a relative speed of 25 kilometers per hour. That's pretty reasonable. I can, can I make it better? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, a second ago, I had it at 0 0.3, and somehow I turned it into 1. Did we drift away, maybe, from prograde accidentally or something? I don't know. Uh, so... Now, our orbit is right. I didn't end up making it higher, because it hasn't passed us yet. It was just planning to pass us on the next orbit. And so I raised our orbit. Sorry, we were planning to pass it. I raised our orbit so we will no longer be passing it, um, but we're still going faster. And then on the next lap, when we come real close, um, uh, when we get very, very close, we will try to equalize velocities so that we can uh, properly dock. And that'll also uh, make our, our orbits exactly overlap. So let's warp to here. I shouldn't have to do anything at the other side. We're coming to within one kilometer. And our relative speed is very low, so it shouldn't take much uh, burn from the main engines to slow us down to uh, the right speed. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, we're in target navball mode, which is exciting. Um, so now rather these positions, rather than being relative to our orbit, are our relative velocity with the uh, other ship. So it's already at less than a kilometer. So let's, we're going to point retrograde with respect to the difference in our velocity with the uh, the target, and burn to bring that down very, very low. Okay, like four meters per second is lower than it has to be, but this thing is still only a hundred seconds away, right? Like that's. That's very close. Um, and as it as it gets closer, uh, actually, can I, I, sw I can switch to targeting, I can switch to flying this other ship. And what I want to do is a few things. I want to, that's a large one. We need a small docking port. Is this one of those? No. I know I put a small docking port on here somewhere. Here it is. So I say control from here, which tells this ship to think of itself as being from this perspective. And I just want to turn on SAS and say, um, where's the other ship? There it is. Can you? Set as target. And point yourself at the target, please. Okay, great. Now let's uh, switch to controlling the other ship because I think it's getting getting ready to fly into us. Okay, uh, just waiting for this thing to normalize itself. Good. Now, yeah, we're still. Uh... Oh, is it actually getting further away? Did we miss our window? No. It's still getting closer. All right, we'll stay pointed retrograde with respect to the target. Um, and I would like to control the ship from here. Think of this as the front. Now, we haven't brought a lot of fuel, but we have brought, like, I don't know, almost half a tank of one of these, right? We're at, like, a fifth or an eighth of our total fuel capacity, but that's two of these. Well, the target is getting away from us, isn't it? Uh, so point prograde with respect to the target and catch up to it? I guess we did miss our window somehow. I'm not sure what happened there. It seems very strange that this is prograde with respect to our... Oh no, I want... I still want to burn retrograde. 
because the target is moving away from us. And I want to make that stop happening, right? So retrograde with respect to our velocity regarding the target? Question mark? The ship is moving very slowly. I'm not sure why. We have all the time in the world, though. Just be patient. Um, don't... Yeah, it's just like spinning... No, it, yeah, it's not stopping at retrograde. I don't know why. What is the deal? We have electricity, right? No. Come on. Is it because we're in the dark? The solar panels got undeployed. I could swear I deployed them. Maybe I forgot somehow. All right, well, it's orienting itself properly again. And uh, I can't, it looks like the, uh, the reaction wheel is willing to use up more power than these panels are generating. But now that we've pointed ourselves in the right direction, we're, we're quickly rebuilding electric charge. So let's just um, burn like this. And we're now approaching the target uh, let's aim for, like, that much. I don't know. Six meters per second. Um, point retrograde again. Actually, six is probably too much, because I really need to count on my RCS to slow me down. I can't keep turning the ship like this. It doesn't turn very quickly. I can't count on the main engine to do this docking. Uh, so I just want to get us down to a comfortable approach velocity of a couple meters per second. That's still, what, 15 seconds away? 150 seconds away? So two and a half minutes? Okay, that'll give me time to get pointed prograde again and stop using the main engine. When I did the docking tutorial, it's a much more maneuverable ship, and so I was allowed to get away with lazy stuff like this. Um, but really, um, I should be using RCS. So turn RCS on, and the target is over there, and our prograde is like that? I'm a little confused about this. Um, let's see. So if I want to go... <sighs> RCS is so confusing to me. Okay, we've spent three of our RCS. Yeah, that burn when we tried to use it to adjust our... Okay, so what, what exactly do I want to do? I want to get the ship pointed right at the... Um... I want to get our prograde pointed right at the target. Right? And so I'm doing some translations to make that happen. And it's having the effect of spinning us, which is a pain but not really a big deal. I'll just turn off RCS, turn SAS back on, and say, please point at the target. And uh, let's adjust camera views a bit to, I believe, locked was kind of OK. No, what I want is chase. Um, so you can see on the nav ball, we are now, our prograde is pointed right at the target, more or less. And, uh, oh, geez, I should, uh, control from here. I've already done that. Oh, yeah, these, these, these docking ports aren't shielded, so I don't have to deploy it or anything. Um, and we're just approaching at a nice steady 1.6 meters per second. Meanwhile, the target has completely forgotten to point at us. Point to the target, please. It has electric charge. Why is it not turning? It has reaction wheels. Oh, it is, because I forgot. We're approaching this docking port. So the ship is pointed perfectly correctly. Great. This just looks like very un unwieldy, but uh, I think we're doing okay. Uh, could stand to have our prograde be a bit uh, higher, which is this way. And then readjust our attitude, having done that burn. OK, 
Okay, we're getting quite close now. Um, I'm going to turn RCS on and point away from it, slowing us down a bit to make sure... Let's actually get down to like 0, or 0 0.5, so that I can make absolutely certain we're lined up properly. Okay, stay pointed at the target. It really looks like we're coming in at the wrong angle, doesn't it? We're coming in pointed at the right part of the ship, but it's like tilted wrong for some reason. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's just an artifact of... I don't know, maybe it'll take care of itself. Uh, let's turn... Let's slow ourselves down even more, come in at like less than one meter per second, like a third of a meter per second. Adjust our prograde again. Stay pointed at the target. Oh, I know what's wrong. I haven't... Okay, well, we're gonna bump. Sorry. Uh, their SAS is now fighting each other. Can I set this docking port as the target? I can do that, can't I, I thought? The docking port there I can set as the target. Alright. Well, wait, that's... Aha, there it is. The docking port junior. Set that as the target. That might be what was wrong. And let's, on this other ship, um, set not just... On the space station, set the... Where the hell is it? Set, where's the, the hatch on the front? I want to set you as a target, please. All right, well, whatever. We'll fix that in a minute. Uh, so let's just turn on, turn on the RCS and uh, burn forward a bit to cancel out this bump that we did. Okay, that looks good. Uh, we're probably approaching a bit too fast though, so let's burn backward. Uh, aim at the target, please. Okay, now we're coming in angled right, but a little bit too fast for my comfort. Uh, Oh my gosh, I was accidentally hitting forward instead of up. Okay, hope we have enough fuel for this. It's looking good, honestly. This is much more like what I had in mind. Okay, I believe that we have docked. Right? Or did we just bump? What happened? It's trying to dock, but having trouble somehow. What have I done wrong? Our velocity with respect to the target is perfect. These are two junior docking ports. They're pointing right at each other. Is it just taking a while to adjust? Aha! We did it! There's three Kerbals on board! Amazing! Okay, uh, all things considered, that was less bad than I might have expected. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is transfer the science... Let's see. Um... Get out of here, Napal. Uh, I want to move a scientist, let's say Bob, uh, from here, transfer group. Oh, and let's turn on the lights, by the way. 
Ta-da! Okay, uh, let's transfer crew, Bob, uh, to the science bay? Or did, where did I actually put him? Oh, I accidentally put him in the in the crew cabin. Um, I don't know. No, 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 no. I accidentally hit the throttle. Okay, so it's shaking, but it'll be okay. Um, there's got to be some button to say. Like, please deactivate the engines. And there is, now that I think of it. Shut down that engine. Shut down this engine. We can turn them back on later. Now I can't accidentally send the... Oh my gosh. I was just looking for a, a way to pan the camera, and so I hit, like, oh, maybe it's shift right-click. And, like, of course, shift did some predictable things, <laughs> um, which was not what I wanted at all. But fortunately, the docking port held steady. It didn't rip apart. Let's quick save now, since we're in the position we wanted to be in. Okay, and uh, now transfer crew from here to here, please. Now, I would like to review the data stored in this command module and say, yes, give me 50 data, and 50 data, and 30 data, and 50 data. Great. And let's uh, take... This stuff as well, review the stored data. I think we already have this. Yeah, so we can't send it. Fine, I'll throw that away. And review a report. Yeah, we can't use that either. Uh, however, we have all this mystery goose stuff that we can uh, use, right? Ugh. Here it is. Mystery goose, review this data. Yes, please feed it right into the science bay. And... Um, Oh, I accidentally attached a surface scanning module? Interesting. Okay, well, fine. I forgot that I had done that. We can't do the atmosphere analysis here, that's fine. Um, but somewhere on this dang ship is a barometer, yes. Review this data and dump it into the science machine. And likewise the thermometer. This thing is wiggling terribly because of what I did. Um, log the temperature, yeah, whatever. Dump it in the science machine. How about this? Review this data. Yeah, it's from in space near Kerbin. Dump that into the science machine. Um, and so now what I want to do is leave one pilot on the ship, uh, on the space station, and uh, bring the other one home, bring uh, a scientist home. But uh, there's actually no rush to bring anybody home at the moment. We can sort of leave this all um, in space. It would be kind of nice if the crew, if some of this were detachable, maybe, but whatever. Um, I think for the moment, what I will do is transfer both scientists, um, the one who was here, uh, transfer crew into the science lab, and transfer the person uh, who was flying this thing to here. The, the fancier crew cabin. Well, so, what happens, by the way, if I turn on SAS? Is the ship going to tear itself to pieces, or what? Or is it going to fix everything? It looks like what that did was fix everything. No, it's still wiggling. Alright, well, that's life. Uh, okay, well, fine. And now, let us tell this thing to please, uh... Oh, clean experiments, sure. I forgot, it is able to, um... Uh... Reset mystery goo containers and so on, just like a scientist could, but without having to get out of the ship. Um... Doesn't seem to be using any electric charge. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I thought it was supposed to. So let's review the data that's in here. How do I do that? Well, it reset the things. Okay. Fine. Uh, I can click Start Research, but I kind of wish I could review how much is there. Well, whatever. 
Uh, so, how is this working? Oh, I see. We have 104 out of 750 science, or data, and we are turning it into science at a rate of two science per two and a half science per day, um, and we're storing it up as we speak into science. So the way that this works basically is every day one one hundredth of the science that you have of the data that you have is converted into science and uh, eventually you use an antenna to transmit that science back to the planet and then it counts as real science so it's a slow uh, way to get science especially if you don't fill it up properly like we haven't um, but it does add more to what you could get normally uh, and so it would have been great if we could have gotten uh, observations from, like, within orbit. Like, if we had ditched the fairing, for example. But uh, you know what? I'll take it. So let's look at the fuel here. What I would like to do is... Is this the transfer button? Uh, no, that controls a different thing. How do you... Um... Well... Controls? Uh, no, this doesn't look like it. Resources. Storage and conversion. No. This is about like, yeah, it's great, and I don't, I, I'm not there yet. Science, we know about science. I thought you were supposed to be able to transfer... Oh, maybe I can't, just because there's nobody flying that part of the ship. All right, well, I'll look it up and we'll, we'll do it next episode. I want to transfer some of the uh, RCS fuel. And actually, we, I think this thing is still full on RCS fuel, right? But just the, the excess fuel in these tanks into this tank so that this is a bit fuller for the next guys who show up. Uh, anyway, but I think now is a great time to call the episode. We've managed to dock with the space station, right? What an amazing milestone. We have put a, a, a rocket going around the Earth, well, the planet, forever. And then we actually were able to aim another rocket accurately enough to, like, link up with it. And now we are able to send people to space and, like, leave them there. So cool. Uh, so next episode, we'll send him home and, like, uh, think of something else cool to do. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I sure did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.